very good day to you all, viewers and listeners. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will be dealing with salt analysis. WAEC Chemistry Practicals 2021. Now, before I start, I would like us to look at the theory that aligns the salt mixture we're going to be analyzing, and that is sample C. C is a mixture of two inorganic salts, copper sulfate and ammonium carbonate. When you mix copper sulfate and ammonium carbonate together, that is what we call double decomposition. It will give you an insoluble salt, which is copper carbonate, and the soluble salt, which is ammonium sulfate. Now, when you filter, when you dissolve C, in 10 cm cube of distilled water, you will get a filtrate and a residue. So the residue, I believe, contains copper carbonate and the filtrate contains ammonium sulfate. Now let's look at the reagents for today's salt test. Now here is my dilute HCl. This is my dilute HCl. Now we use acids mostly in qualitative analysis. Now, the uh, dilute hydrochloric acid can be replaced with other inorganic acids such as triazonitrophic acid and tetra sulfate 6 acid. So here is dilute tetra sulfate 6 acid and this is acidified potassium dichromate solution. Here is my sodium hydroxide solution sodium hydroxide solution and i have my ammonium hydroxide solution this is my dilute triazonitrate 5 acid and i have a sample of ammonium carbonate ammonium carbonate and um, also a sample of uh, copper sulfate, copper sulfate and hydros. Now here is my barium chloride solution, my barium chloride solution. And this is my lime water. All right. So without wasting much of your time, let us go to the observation table and carry out the instruction that are given there. The instructions that are given now the first question here says we should divide C, we should add C to 10 cm cube of this two, but I hope you can see clearly from that point. Okay, so it says we should divide C, or oh, sorry, dissolve C in 10 cm cube of distilled water. And that is what I'm going to do now. But before I dissolve C, I need to produce that salt mixture, which is gotten by adding ammonium carbonate and copper sulfate so watch and see how i'm going to form a salt mixture and remember that the salt mixture must be in the ratio of one is to one that means the masses of the two samples need to be what equal they need, they need to be what equal so i have my weighing balance Okay, now we were asked to add 10 cm cube to sample C and filter. So we observed a green residue and a deep blue filtrate. And then our conclusion will be that C is a mixture of soluble and insoluble salt. Then we were asked to add the first portion of the filtrate to barium chloride solution. Now when you are asked to add barium chloride solution or when you add barium chloride solution as you saw in the particle section, you will get a white precipitate. And when you get white precipitate, it means there are three possible ions that could be the solution. One is triazocarbonate 4 ion, the second one is triazosulfate 4 ion, and the third one is tetraoxosulfate 6 ion. 
Now to distinguish between these three ions, you simply need to add hydrochloric acid. Now when you add excess of hydrochloric acid into the mixture and the EPT is insoluble, it means that sulfate 6 ion is present as we saw in the practical section. So when we added excess of the hydrochloric acid, we saw what? That the PPT was insoluble. So if the PPT is insoluble, that means you have what? Tetra also surfaces ion. But if the precipitate dissolves, the precipitate is soluble, that means try also coming in four ion or try also sulfate four ion, they are probably not present in the solution. Then the next question that was carried out, the next instruction that was carried out in these particles is the one that says that we should uh, heat the second portion of the filtrate, we should apply it and then bring a glass rod close to the mount of the test tube, a glass rod that is dipped in dilute hydrochloric acid. When you bring the glass rod close to the test tube, a dense white Fume is going to be formed as you saw in the practical section. So, when you bring a dense um, a glass rod that is deep in dilute hydrochloric acid, you're going to get a dense white fume. So, you can see HBT in our observation a dense white fume was formed with the glass rod deep in dilute water, hydrochloric acid. So, what will be your conclusion? Is ammonia gas from ammonium ion? Ammonia gas for ammonia ion. I believe you can see clearly from there. Ammonia gas for ammonium ion. All right. Now the next instruction here says that we should add residue C to dilute hydrochloric acid and pass the resulting gas through what lime water. Now when we added dilute hydrochloric acid to the uh, residue, we so effervescence occurred and a colorless, odorless gas which turned lime water milky was evolved. And that gas is probably what carbon 4 oxide from the CO3 2 minus radical. Okay? Now, we were asked also to divide the solution formed in 2A above into two portions. Now, to the first portion, we have to add sodium hydroxide in drops and then in excess. Add sodium hydroxide in drops. I believe you can see clearly from there. Okay, now add first portion of the mixture in 2A above. Add sodium hydroxide in drops and then in excess. Now, when you add in drops, or uh, when we added in drops, we saw a blue gelatinous word precipitate. We saw a blue gelatinous precipitate. And what does that connote? That copper 2 ion or iron 2 ion are probably present in the solution. So that's how we're going to write our report. So in our inference, we will state that copper 2 ion and iron 2 ion are probably what present or suspected. Now, to distinguish between these two ions, we have to add the second portion of the mixture to sodium or hydroxide. When you add sodium hydroxide in drops and you get a blue precipitate, just like in the first case, you will also suspect the two ions, which is copper 2 ion and iron 2 ion. But when you now add excess of the sodium hydroxide and the precipitate dissolves completely, that means that copper is confirmed because that's a confirmatory test for copper all right so uh thank you for listening this is salt analysis chemistry practicals 2021 so very soon i'm going to upload the video for you to see the practical section for this analysis thank you and god bless you